Monday, May 22nd. Let's talk about the cable, the three major cable news channels, Fox, MSNBC, and CNN. I really, I watch them all the time. But there's been a, a, an earthquake that has happened since the election. It was really happening kind of during the election. But it's happened since the election. It's just shaking things up. And I live on these three channels at night. I go back and forth between all of them. But I have found I've really changed my viewing habits. And there are reasons for that. I just want to talk about it and throw out there what I'm seeing. And whew, crazy. Number one, it's all fake news now. It's really a sad situation. One channel is totally left, or whatever you want to call it, they'll consider themselves reasonable. The other channel is totally right, they'll consider themselves reasonable. And the other channel kind of tries to play itself in the middle, but puts 15 people on TV at the same time, and none of it makes sense a whole lot of the time. So let's talk about them. Fox. FNC, Fox News Channel, is on the way down. It is horrible now. I used to really love watching Fox. And Bill O'Reilly deserved what happened to him if the corporation said it did and he made an agreement and he's out. He should not have treated women the way he did. He shouldn't have been involved in all that. That's kind of what happens. You get called out, you're out. But what it's done to Fox News Channel is really horrible because he was really... The guy, I liked watching O'Reilly until this last election. He really, with uh, uh, with President Trump, he really was so cozy with him at the beginning. He kind of changed at the end, but he had to watch the, the difference. It was, had to quit talking about his milkshakes with him. But he was he was really kind of the best one there. He was, had a little bit of liber libertarian strain in him and was kind of realistic on some stuff, way out there on, on some others, but I liked listening to him. Megyn Kelly, when she left and they lost her, she was really good at, at 9 o'clock. And so you had O'Reilly and Megyn Kelly, and that was a real 4-5 or 3-4 middle of the lineup batting order. Now you got Tucker Carlson, who's earnest, but and the 5, the 5 belong at the 5 when it was on the 5. It's just, they already got rid of Beckel, who came back, and, and they got some good people in there, but nobody really out there to take the next step, and I've never been a Sean Hannity supporter. So FNC is it's just horrible, and then of course Fox and Friends, you can't even talk about it. MSNBC, man, you want to talk about the complete other side? This weekend, I think it was yesterday, Sunday, at their 6 o'clock hour, or I think it was the 6 o'clock hour, you know, the president is over, he's dealing with the Saudis, he just had this big speech with the Muslim caucus or conference or whatever it was out there. And the first thing that MSNBC and then CNN and Fox, of course, but CNN and Fox come on and talk about that, which is really the right thing to do. Not MSNBC. MSNBC, I think it was Ari or something, suddenly launches into how bad the president's doing, all the problems here, the Comey thing. Well, that's like old news. It's going to happen, man. But they made themselves clear what was most important. It's just whacking on Trump. So You've got that there, and then you've got Fox on it. And then I watched CNN. Of course, we were watching when, when, when Anderson Cooper did his little poop thing. But, you know, you listen to this guy, Jeffrey Lordy, you kind of wonder sometimes. But the problem with CNN is they're so busy trying to make a statement that they are the middle, but they're calling out the truth. And then they put like 15 people on TV at the same time, and they're all going back and forth, and who knows what to listen to. And in the next hour, it's 15 more people, and everybody knows everything. You got three people for Trump, and three people against Trump, and three people for this, and three people for that. You're going, what am I missing? And it just gets so jumbled. It's, But I'm finding now that I'm watching, you know, well, I'm sorry, let me get back to MSNBC. Rachel's still Rachel. I like Rachel. Lawrence O'Donnell, I don't know if he's re-upped re with them. There was an issue with this contract signing. Smart guy. I'd love to have dinner with him. But he gets awfully snarky on TV, and I find that kind of off-putting. And can you kind of feel like you're coming across as you're, you're feeling like you're better than everyone. And, and and I have a problem, but he is smart, and he lays it out there. And Rachel, I've always liked, though. She just goes on and on sometimes, which is kind of what I'm doing. So... What I'm saying here is things in my mind have changed, and I have to assume with all my friends, MSNBC is much more watchable now. Because even though they're hard left, you know you're listening hard left. Fox, Brent Baer, if I'm home to watch it, you never see Shep Smith. And that's about it. CNN, I like Anderson Cooper. Uh, the other guys, women, I mean guys gender neutral. 
So, you know, I'm saying it's all fake news because you got to watch all three and see what the spin each of the three put on it. And then, of course, their analysts, what spin they put on top of the spin, which was put on before. But it's really up for grabs now. So that's how I'd be watching. Maybe Brett Bear at six if you're watching. I like Greta, but hey, I've always loved, but I like Brett Bear. I always love Chris Matthews. He's great. He just goes crazy versus Bridgegate. Now it's Trump Watergate. And we'll see, but he's a real patriot and his stuff's good. And then go to AC 360. And then, or Rachel, go back and forth there, and then at 10 o'clock, turn it off and watch Shark Tank or CNBC, or just put some stuff on the background, maybe old Outer Limits. So that's where we are. Things are changing, but it's definitely interesting. Peace.